Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is the first video I've made in a while. The first video in my new house and yeah, um, I think it's been four weeks or five weeks since I've made a video and I have moved in here about four or five weeks ago. So I'm going to gradually start getting into making videos again. Um, I've just, my plants are scattered all around the house at the moment so there's not one designated place for them, which makes it more difficult in my brain because before I just had my bedroom that they were in and so it was easy, just go to that room, make a video, easy. Whereas now I've got some in here, some in the spare room, some in the living room, some in the kitchen, and then some in my parents' house still. So it's just tricky, but um, I've decided I'm gonna make a video today, just do a little bit of plant maintenance, a little bit of plant updates and I was looking for my fertilizer because I cannot, I don't know, it's in a box somewhere, um, I think it's in the loft, but I found some orchid feed which I checked the NPK on it and it's like good enough for most plants so I'm just using some of that so I'm going to give fer that fertilizer to everything else as well um, and then just a couple of plant updates and just yeah just updates for you guys. Um, Laura, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, just uploaded a uh, almost two hour video so that has been lovely and inspired me to finally make some time to make a video so um I, there's not really going to be much order to this i'm just going to go through stuff i don't have my tripod because i don't know where it is um so this is going to be a little bit more shaky than normal but i'm sure you guys really don't mind okay cool so um i'll probably turn the camera around it'll be easiest but before i do that i'm going to show you my this is an early christmas present from my parents and it is a spaphophyllum which is just like a peace lily um but it's sensation which is the giant form and i was only made aware that there was a giant form god it must have been like three weeks ago um i, I didn't even know they existed um yeah because i went to me and my partner went to denmark we went to copenhagen and there's a tropical glass house there and they had one of these there i didn't take a picture of it i thought i did but i didn't somehow um and i just decided that i need what needed one in my life but they are so expensive um and difficult to find online so my parents managed to find one so and get me one which was uh which i'm very grateful for i will show you now uh, I'll probably... Uh, this is a young one, like quite a small one, believe it or not. And I, I don't know, it probably doesn't look too much on camera right now, let me. It's probably not a good angle. Maybe I'll actually, well, let me show you quickly. So the leaves are like super rigid and dark green. Um, oh, that's in my mouth. <laughs> and then as they get more mature and bigger, they turn a lot more like lush green, like dark, 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 rich green. Uh, let me turn the camera around. Okay, so ignore the condensation and the mess in the garden. That is the old kitchen that we ripped out as soon as we moved in. Um, so this spaphylum is absolutely huge. And this is a, a baby. Like, they get, like, two metres tall. So this is really a baby. And it is just lovely. Um, I looked over it. So there's a new growth point down here, but it's actually the tip of the leaf is dying. I think that's because it was in transit during the snow. So, but these ones don't look too bad. There's a, like a little bit of a browning tip there, but that tip is perfectly fine. So it's going to be pretty good, I think. And it's going, it's going to take a while to kind of start growing properly and getting big. But um, yeah, there's that. Uh, what was I going to say about it? There's something I was going to say, and I can't remember. No. Oh, yeah. Um, I checked it over the other day, and it had frips, obviously, because how could a plant not have frips when it's coming in my care? Um, so I wiped it down with soapy water, and I'm going to keep a, like, a vit, like a really good eye on it. Um, the trouble is, a lot of the frips get in these, right in these cracks here, like in the rolled up leaf. So it's really, I'll just keep an eye on it for a long time. Right. Down here, a very, very weird one, different one, but quite cool. Um, so 
we've got a fish tank and we bought some Amazonian frog bit for the fish tank, but we also have a massive snail in there and the snail eats all of this. There was like double this amount. <clears throat> so I scooped it out of the tank and I'm now keeping it in this little glass. Um, yeah, you can see like some root growth under there, but there was like double that amount and then the snail just chewed it all up. So I'm gonna try and grow that again. So this is a really quick look at the garden. So I think it is 72, 75-ish uh, foot long. And it is on quite a hill, as you can see. And then it goes like further down back there. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of garden videos coming up in the next year, not this year. <laughs> um, I think about, you can see here, just like, that where that line is, that dugout line, that's where my greenhouse is going. So I need to make a big base for it, like a concrete base properly, like do it properly. Um, so that's the plan for the winter. And then hopefully by spring, I'll have my greenhouse because I know which one I'm getting. Uh, I'm going to get a 10 by 12 foot greenhouse. So it's a lot bigger than my last one. Um, so that's going to be really exciting. So yeah, just a quick look. Right, um, I guess I'll go here next. If you can see it, you're probably not really going to be able to see it too much because of the light. Uh, this is my Hoya Crimson Princess, which is always doing really, really well. Um, yeah, looks really nice. Hasn't changed in the slightest. Um, and it's got, it's just, yeah, it's just always looking good. Right, and then over here, I've decorated for the Christmas. <laughs> this is my Hoya Polynura. Um, it did have flowers. I'll insert some pictures here, but the flowers literally dropped off just this week. So the flowers were on there for, I want to say three weeks, maybe f the, yeah, the flowers were open for like three and a half weeks. So, and I was really impressed with that. I thought they were going to be open for like four days and then die off, but they were there for ages. Um, nothing much to say about this other than how well it's doing. It's always doing so well. It's looking amazing. Um, yeah, and I've just hung it up on a hook that was already on the window. Uh, we, we are going to get new windows as soon as we can, really. <clears throat> then I've got my um, Hoya Pubicalix. This is the Hawaiian purple something or other. Um, the, I had to take the cane out of it when I was transporting it, and then I never put the cane back. Um, there's <laughs> a piece of a cane. I don't know what that... I don't know how or why that is there, but it's there. Um, so yeah, it's just laying down. So it's not looking like it is as good as it, it's not looking as good as it used to, but I did notice that since it bent over, cause this kind of snapped, but it hasn't died, um, that it's actually starting to put out a bit of new growth. So I'll keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, so there's that. This sorry site has frips. <laughs> um, this is my lovely, well, possible, like potential lovely, what am I trying to say? This is my um, really nice Alocasia Capria Red Secret. It looked really good uh, about a month and a half ago, and now it has turned to this, but it does have uh, a new leaf coming up here, which is good, and it's coming through nice and healthy. I did just see, right, let me show you guys. Can you see that guy? Yes, you can. That's a really good picture of it, actually. So that is an adult frip. That is the uh, that is when it's in its form with wings. So that's when you want to make sure they aren't moving around, um, because that's when they transfer to different plants really easily, um, and that is when they lay their eggs as well. So it's good that there's only one. Because I spotted it earlier, and I thought oh, I'll leave that there to try and get it on recording um so it's good that there's only one i don't know if they're asexual though so maybe one is <laughs> enough to reproduce um but yeah i'm gonna squish that in a second just thought i'd show you guys let me try and get it back to normal yeah let me quickly get rid of that there we go no animals were harmed in the filming of this <laughs> so yeah, that is kind of the issue that I've had with my alocasia. Um, I did quite a lot of research about alocasias because I was determined to get this one looking good. Um, and they prefer acidic soil, so I've put it in a mix of 
sphagnum moss, peat and perlite. Uh, and I've been watering it with rainwater. Recently, I haven't been watering it with rainwater because, well, I mean, it's been snowing for one and for two. I just haven't collected any rainwater. Um, I may actually go out and grab some snow and melt it in a bowl and then I can use that. Um, but yeah, you can see these these lesions or these like patches, they are just perfect um, examples of frip damage. So if you have that on your plant, look out for those frips because you'll have them most likely. Right, moving on to some, I, I still love this and look how cute it looks in this little pot. Um, <clears throat> and I'm determined to get it to, oh, I just seen another frip. You see him down there? Yep. Right there. Oh my god. That's the problem, they just hide in the, the smallest little gaps, obviously, because that's kind of their job. But anyway, right, I'm going to have another inspect of that when I get back. Um, I mean, when I stop filming. <laughs> Whew, right, I need to catch my breath. Right, so I'm going to quickly give the alocasia a little bit of fertilizer, just a small amount. Um, I did water it a little bit the other day, so I'm just going to give it about that much. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if you saw that. Um, and I did water my spathophyllum last night, I think, so I'm not going to water that. Um, this is really exciting and I'm super happy about these. These, I don't know if you guys may remember, I did a video, a few videos ago, where I took some plants um, propagations out of my uh, propagation box. And they were some like really precious begonias that I had. Um, there's an interesting one actually, because this one, I do not know what variety this is. I did think that this was the Sumatra green, but as it's grown, it's not. Well, no, I don't think it is. But I need to go back to like my old videos to see what begonias I put in that propagation box, because this definitely is not the Sumatra green, because there's a lot of per pink and purple in there. Um, but these have grown so well. Like this, I don't know if you guys remember the video that I did when I took them out. They were tiny, and this has grown so lovely and i'm not taking them out of this propagator because i do not want them to die because my begonias only ever seem to survive when they are in a propagation box this is one of my begonia break dances this was a really small propagation and it's growing really well look how like hairy it is it's just so cool and then this guy is doing even better um oops try not to make a mess it's just getting huge like it's Oops, I just dropped a leaf on the floor. <clears throat> yeah, so this one's doing pretty well. Uh, it's looking a bit messy at the moment, but that's kind of what the break dances look like. <laughs> they get messy, um, but once they get really established, it will fill out the whole part and it will just look so good. Um, right, so it's a little bit later in the day now, but um, going back to where I left off. Uh, these begonias are just doing so fantastic. The only issue that I'm really coming into now is that the, the propagator is kind of a bit too small. Like, I can't even fit the leaves in properly. Like, I have to really play around with it to get it in there. And they're all hitting the roof. So I will have to come up with a solution to that, hopefully, <laughs> sooner rather than later, because these are just getting bigger and bigger. Um, and they look really good. So, and as well earlier when I was in here um, after I start, stopped recording I saw another two adult frips on this alocasia um, so I'm just gonna have another quick look but I'm glad that I found those so I'll keep an eye on it again like tomorrow and later this evening really just whenever I go past it and I'll just check again right right here I've got my ZZ Raven um, this is my ZZ Raven, and then I've also got a regular Zami um, just in the middle there. Uh, I've planted it in the same park because I thought the contrast would be really cool, and I still believe it is pretty cool. Uh, these are covered in dust because we've been doing a lot of house work, but um, <laughs> it's looking pretty good. It's nice and full. And I did have two of these, but I gave the second one to my younger brother, so he's hopefully keeping that looking good. Um, yeah, so I'll move into 
the other room now. I think that I mean, there's one more plant in here, but it's like got a lot of rubbish, not rubbish, it's got clothes next to it. So let's, I'll try and show you without showing too much of my uh, pile of clothes. Uh, but this is my Farkas Elastica Teneki. Uh, this is going to be going in the kitchen, so it's going to be getting a lot more light than what it's getting now. And I think that's like the problem right now because it's looking a little bit, um, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. And the variegation here has now got, um, you know, browning on it. And I think usually that is a sign that it's getting too much light. But in here, I can tell you for definite, it's not getting too much light. It's probably actually getting not enough light. Um, but yeah, that's looking good. So, well, I mean, it's looking, you know, it's big. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty healthy. I just want to get it in a brighter light so it can really stand up a bit better. Um, yeah. Right, whilst I'm home alone, I'll quickly show you my uh, Christmas tree. It's looking really, really pretty. Uh, yeah. Loads of presents. <laughs> I just thought I'd quickly show you that. It's looking really nice. Right, now this is the spare room. Uh, it is, this is the one room of the house that we've not touched. So we haven't painted, we haven't done anything. It just looks, you know, as bad as it did when we bought it. Um, <laughs> but. I have got a few plants on this windowsill over here. Uh, I've got my giant philodendron uh, melanocrysum, which is still doing good. Like it's, it hasn't declined in the slightest, uh, but it hasn't grown at all. It's fully rooted now. Um, I've still got it in this really small pot, but it's fully rooted. I am going to give that a water right now. Um, I, ideally, I want to increase the light level on that and I want to increase the humidity. Uh, both of which I cannot really do <laughs> right now. Uh, so I'm just going to give that... A... Sorry, you can't see. I'm not really... Give that about that much. Uh, it's got a tray under it, so it should be fine. And then... <clears throat> yeah, so I've not noticed any pests. To be honest, I haven't really looked for a while, but there's no signs of pests. All of this damage here was already there. Um, you know, like damage from the post. Just... Nothing, nothing that is like a sign of uh, pests, in my opinion. Uh, that leaf has got damaged on the corner, but you know it's not, it's not uh, uh, declining, so it's nothing to worry about. Uh, next, I've got my alocasia black velvet. It's getting a bit dark outside, so the lighting is a bit poor. But um, this is obviously not looking as good as it did. I don't remember if I showed you guys this. I don't know, because I think I got this round about the time that I kind of stopped making videos. Uh, or the last, yeah, when I kind of hadn't recorded in a while. So this is my allocation Black Velvet, if you haven't met him already. Um, he was looking a lot better than this, but I've not really been giving him enough light. Um, and look how cheap that was as well. And I got 20% off. <laughs> so uh, really, it was a really good like a bargain to be honest um he needs watering and they like well i'm trying to give it more humidity so what i've started to do because i couldn't find a terrarium i don't have one that's gonna be suitable i've thought of the idea of using this big tupperware container and just placing it over the top <laughs> like so so that it keeps the humidity up in there. Uh, there's a tiny gap there for a bit of ventilation, but that's not really, you know, it's, yeah, I think that's gonna work pretty well. The only negative about these windows at the back of the house is that they are, um, which way are they facing? Uh, west, west facing, I think. So they get, what is it, west facing? So they get the, setting sun but it's winter so the sun goes like that way over behind those trees um so we don't get too much light in this room uh, but let's give this a good water and then i'll put the terrarium cover on it um this has got some fertilizer in it i'll give it that much and let it soak up right next we have a tragic story that i'm still like a bit gutted about if you guys recognize this container you'll know that this used to have my 
beautiful variegated aloe arborescence, the one that was one of my pride and joys. <laughs> um, yeah, it got stuck out here in the snow for a couple of days, so it completely just went to mush. So I've cut it right back and I've brought it inside and I'm really hoping that somehow it comes back. It's still quite firm, so I'm holding out hope but you know, it's just a waiting game. I just don't, uh, I don't know. I, if I if it does die, I'm gonna try and find another one somehow, somewhere. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of little sempervivums in here. These were just propagations from my parents' garden that I just, you know, when you're walking past, you just pick off little bits and stick them in other containers. Um, yeah, and then these are my graptosedums. Um, they're doing pretty well. I, I think they got slightly damaged by the frost, but to be fair, these usually do survive through the winter for me. So I, I'm hoping that they are going to be okay and they're going to, you know, continue to grow. Uh, but to be fair, I think if they were going to die, they would have died by now because the ice and stuff was a few days ago now. So they seem all right. And then we've got some cacti here. Uh, and none of these are mine, these are all my partners. Um, the only one that's mine is this little guy, which I've stolen um, a container. <laughs> but this is just um, some little, was this a type of mammillaria, I think? I can't remember the name, uh, but I've just planted that up in there. And yeah, the rest of these are looking pretty good to be fair, I don't, yeah, they're not mine, so <laughs> a quick overview. Um, oh yeah, so let's put this container back on here. And then I'm going to leave it there. Right, I've just brought in this papaphyllum from my the living room. Uh, this one is doing beautiful and I've had this for... I got this the same time that I got the Alocasia Black Velvet, so... Honestly, like, yeah, like maybe exactly a month, just over. Um, and it's doing really well. It did have a lot more smaller leaves around the base, but they have since died off. And a lot more larger leaves have come through. Um, and the variegation is so nice. I just love this. I think I got it for £9, so it was like a pretty good price again. Um, and it's flowering at the moment. I don't care too much for uh, Spathophyllum flowers. Um, I just really like the foliage. Um, and you can really see the difference between the Spaphophyllum sensation and I don't know the name of this one. It's probably still on the pot. Let me have a look. Uh, Diamond Variegated. So yeah, that is really pretty. I love that. And I, I did not expect to like Spaphophyllums as much as I do, honestly. I know that sounds a bit... I don't know. They're just a very simple, basic plant, but... There are cultivars that are super interesting, in like my personal opinion, so yeah. Right, and I've got a couple of plants in the bathroom. Um, I've got one of my ferns, which I think, yeah, that could do a, a water actually. So let me go grab the watering can. Yep, so I'm gonna give that one some fertilizer. This is this one dries out relatively slow to be fair um so just not too much then that is uh my not mine <laughs> that where is my one actually i think that must still be at my parents house because i have not seen it <laughs> okay um and then this is my uh Scindaptus pictus this is the Argerias. Nope, this is the Trebi, uh, which is doing really well. It looks good, really nice and lush. Um, I'm not going to oh, give that a tiny bit of water, but I don't want to do overdo it because that dries really slow in the bathroom as well. Um, but yeah, I think that is the majority of the plants that I've got here. Yeah, so I think I'll leave it there. I do have a couple of plants in the living room, but um, I'm just like, they're on the front. I don't know. No, I'm just not going to show them just yet. I'm going to move them and then I'll show them. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of my carnivorous plants out in the garden at the moment. They're just in trays, just in the snow. 
I will be getting a glass house, but that'll be in another month, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so it's all, everything's looking pretty good. Like nothing's died since I've moved here, apart from the aloe. Um, so everything's doing pretty good. What I'm kind of doing at the moment is kind of keeping stuff that's kind of a bit easier to keep, uh, stuff that's like low hassle. Um, and then slowly I'm gonna progress as I settle here, I'm gonna progress with setting up a, more of a, a plant area somewhere specific that my house plants are gonna be. Um, so that may be like a, a larger propagator or a shelving unit or something. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but I definitely need something um, to put them all together and kind of an area to obsess. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I hope you guys are all well. If you guys wanna, got any questions or anything, just leave it in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video.